Enemy cruisers suck. Hello, I am uh, Fresh Potato, and uh, someone at Wargaming needs to be written up, right? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> someone needs the old workplace disciplinary action. Okay, the old 20-page write-up. Whoever said that this was good, yeah, 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 it's good, it's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever that person is, needs to be written up, right? Or at least a verbal warning. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm back, and yeah, the update, this update, not, it's not that bad in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are is that how you start off <laughs> yes it's not that bad in my opinion I think um, at first I was outraged like everyone else when I heard that some some hot shot got 500k within the you know the few hours of the update <laughs> what <laughs> right I mean someone broke the record the records being shattered and aircraft carriers take over the world. Nah. Now, but when I play it, it's not that bad, really. And the changes Wargaming have made to aircraft carriers have a lot of potential, right? A lot of potential if they go back to the drawing board and figure out a way to balance it out right all they have to do is balance this out the the new mechanics i guess or gameplay of aircrafts needing to or running out of fuel is genius in my opinion um the only thing i feel that they could do better is not allow planes or allow aircraft carriers to have so many planes um, I think they need to be able to run out of planes at some point, you know, finishing a game, shooting down 50 planes when and and one of your teammates, another 40. It, it, it's ridiculous. That's Disneyland type of nonsense. OK, <laughs> it's just as bad as us battleships never running out of ammunition, right? <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> but I, I think, you know, I think. It has a lot of good potential. This can be a really good, I guess, step in the right direction when it, as far as aircraft carriers, right? And I'm happy for all the aircraft carrier mains because I know how it feels. I used to play aircraft carriers a lot. I used to be an aircraft carrier main myself in the beginning. And one of the reasons why I stopped playing aircraft carriers and started focusing more in on in playing battleships is because I felt like I wasn't getting the respect, right? You finish the game, you do the best you can, and you're always at the bottom of the XP board, right? You get the worst XP. And now, well, hey, <laughs> most of the time you guys are at the top now of the XP board and I am very happy for you uh, aircraft carrier mains for that because, again, like I said, I know how it feels to play that uh, aircraft carrier. So you guys have your moment and you guys deserve it. I don't think this moment is going to last forever. Um, maybe it will um, as far as getting the proper XP in the end. Uh, but as far as causing havoc like this, I don't think I think they're going to they're going to figure out a way to balance all of this out and I am kind of jealous of the CVs because my battleships are struggling um, it's one of the reasons why you haven't seen a lot of videos from me in the last uh, couple of weeks or days or whatever and that's because well for the last three weeks or maybe four month whatever RNG has been off and I don't think it's our, it's like, a, I don't know, it's, I think, I think something is wrong, right? I think something is wrong with RNG, um, I don't even think it's RNG actually, I, something is just flat out wrong. My shells have been landing short, sometimes they land off target, maybe it's a server issue, I don't know, but my battleship, battleships have been off. 
and very every once in a while I'll have I'll have games like this one that you're watching in the Ohio, but mo most of the time they're off, um, they're landing too short, um, and it doesn't feel right. I've been playing the game long enough to know when the game is when it's supposed to how I mean I, I know how the game is supposed to feel okay and my shells landing in the wrong spot or landing too short is some yes yeah, something is wrong right something is definitely wrong um, I think wargaming needs to figure that out uh, I wish they would address that um, I don't know if anyone else um, uh, experience the experience that or experience the same thing i'm experiencing here when it comes to that um but you know you you want battleships to push in okay you want them to be able to spread out but you know when you give aircraft carriers so much so much dominance and they do not run out of planes then you are asking us, you're making us do what you see here on the screen. Stick together because we have to combine AA, right? We can't spread out. We can't push in like we want to. So you, something has to give. And I don't know. Like I said, I hope they, they figure something out and they, you know, balance this stuff out. Uh, but as far as, like I said, all the other new things that they brought to aircraft carriers, the spotting now they cannot really spot you like that fantastic fantastic the fact that they can run out of fuel fantastic although i think the fuel needs needs to run out a little bit faster because there's plenty of games i've played in my cv and i don't really have to push up i can still keep at a safer distance and still manage you know decent drops on the enemy um so yeah, maybe they can improve that. I would like them to put a feature where you can choose how many planes you take, right? You take off your aircraft carrier. That way we don't have to do that pre-drop anymore, right? If you want to take one plane up, you can pick one. One to ho however how many planes you're allowed in your squadron, right? Oh, your squadron allows six. Well, I want to take three. And there you go. <laughs> okay. I would like them to add that feature if it's possible. I think that'll be a very handy, handy tool, right? That way we don't have to do that annoying pre-drop every time it slows us down. Now that we have fuel, you know, it seems like when you do a drop and you pull back up after the drop, it seems like it takes a lot more fuel, right? <laughs> to do that pull back up after your drop. But yeah, I like, like I said, just, you know, I don't want to keep repeating myself. But I have to because, uh, you know, I have to talk for the entire length of this video <laughs> of what I'm, you know, what I recorded here <laughs> of this game. And there it is. Top of the leaderboard. Finished with 2333, four kills in the Ohio. Right. But this is uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this new update. At first, I thought I was going to be outraged by it based on what I was seeing during that. Uh, the first day of it and watching all the content creators have these massive games watching PG get a what I think he had a 400k game it's just I I was I was mad watching that okay I was really upset but and when I got home and got got a chance to play the game and still play battleships and you know it's not that bad right it's not that bad and I'm pretty sure wargaming will be figure out a way to balance this and yeah i mean i'm enjoying playing cvs and i'm still playing my battleships i just need them to you know fix that that rng or whatever problem it is i think it could be a bug maybe it's that they just need to fix that that way you know give us battleship players a better chance okay give us a better chance here to uh defend ourselves um i know dd players the dd mains out there having a great time now you're not spotted by the cv anymore and or, well you are but it's just you know all you can the enemy can only see you on their mini maps so that's a good thing um 
uh, I guess, cruisers, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys are the ones being bombarded by the CVs, but, <laughs> but hey, is anybody out there struggling with this update? Uh, let me know, man. Let's talk about it. Um, are you a CV main and you're happy with it? I hope you are. You better be. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, usually they're nerfing CVs, but yeah. Uh, you might see the Ark Royal come back, but hey, <laughs> tell me what you think, and of course, thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.